Yeah, Matt, good, good way to finish the year. A, t- a tidy win. Yeah, um, it was obviously a great way to finish the year. Um, I've been disappointed to, to not win a game um, with, the, with the great sort of 2016 that we had. And um, yeah, it was an efficient performance. It probably wasn't the prettiest game at times. Um, but uh, obviously we had to scrap and, and fight and, and match our opponents. And we, we, we out-muscled them um, for most of the game and uh, yeah, fully deserved the win. Was that the message from Daryl pre-match is that you might have to work really hard to break them down? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Um, we, we know what they're about. We played them a few times last year and uh, um, they're, not, they're not changed the way they play. So, um, yeah, they, if, if, if you don't get on top of them, um, they'll, they'll outmuscle you and, and win ugly. And um, I thought we kind of did that to them today. Obviously, Schalke scored all sorts of goals. The header didn't appear to have much room to go in at the near post, but you kind of forced it in. Yeah, just sort of. Um, he's made a good. He's made a good save just before, and then Lines just picked it up um, and whipped it in. And uh, yeah, I just thought hit the target, head it down, um, and yeah, thankfully it went in. And Chris made the second goal with with a, with a pass that we Im- implied in commentary. Sort of, he he gave the defender the eye, went to put it one way, and then just sent it the other. Yeah, I mean, um, Lines has got God knows how many assists this season. Um, just keep racking up, to be fair, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've sort of checked back for him and um, I've got a great link with him and um, yeah, he's found me and, and thankfully um, found the back of net. There was still 20 minutes to go at that point. Did you feel the game was basically tied up and that 2-0 was, was comfortable at that stage? Um, I don't think you can you can think games like games won and think like that either because we've shown that we've, we've come back from two goals down. Um, so you just have to keep doing what you've been doing well and um, we did that right to the very end and... Um, I had a chance, probably probably the easiest one really, and and um, it's a bit gutted to miss it. But uh, yeah, we just kept going, and I'm I'm so pleased, obviously for for all the boys. It, they they all played well, and um, we got a clean sheet, which was nice. You've been here two and a half years. Your goal record is something like one every two games. In the next month, when the transfer window is open, is it going to be hard for you to keep focused on your job, given the fact that there is bound to be interest? Um. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think last year, sort of, I learned a lot, sort of, um, about how to deal with it. Really, um, it's all it's all new to me. Obviously, I come from a non-league background, and and uh, yeah, I'd be lying if I didn't see what was written in the papers and stuff all the time. But um, mainly, mainly what James writes, to be fair. But uh, yeah, um, no, I've I've learned to deal with it a lot better. Um, last last sort of January. It might have affected me for a couple of weeks, but um, no, I'm, I'm fully prepared to deal with it better and concentrate on my football. And a lot comes down to you know you trusting your agent and your own instinct. And in the summer, you took a long time to decide what to do, but you re-signed here clearly because you thought the club was going places, and here Rovers are in the top half. Yeah, that's why. Well. Obviously, it, I took a long time, and yeah, I had my reasons for that, and um, that was that was exactly what I wanted to do. I'm, I'm ambitious, so is the gaffer, so is this club, and. Um, yeah, I, I re-signed for that reason, and um, it's, it's headed in the right direction. And like you said, we've we've ended the year on a high, and we're top half of League One, so um, it's going very well. Just two more from me. Given what has happened in the last two years, in after Christmas, where Rovers have found another <coughs> gear, can the club collectively find another gear again at this level? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I, I think it's sort of. The fitness and testament to to the lads really, um, and w- and obviously we've got a big big squad here now, so um, there's competition for places, and uh, I think ult- ultimately the um, we do pick up after Christmas, and obviously only time will tell this year, and um, it'd be nice to, well, obviously Gaff's given us a target to beat beat the amount of points that we got from the first half, so um, we'll be we'll be trying to do that. And just lastly, it is Charlton on Monday. It's, it's a short turnaround, but given that result here, the manager won't need to say a lot in terms of making sure that you're set and ready for that match, I would think. No, no, not really. Like He'll, he'll have a plan and he'll, he'll tell us sort of what they're all about. Um, but yeah, you, you don't really have to say a lot to this group anyway. Um, we want to win every game, home or away, um, and uh, we try our hardest week in, week out. So um, yeah, we'll be trying to go and win now.